What's happening, party people? I am here to, I guess, have a little business meeting. Uh, first of all, I wanted to touch bases with the Patreon deal. A couple people has asked questions about Patreon. Patreon is the primary way that viewers like yourself support their creators. It's easier for the creators. Most creators offer benefits to those that are Patreon members. Unfortunately, in the past, I have not had time to do special content for that area. My viewers that appreciate what I do on YouTube just join that primarily to support me through my YouTube. It's easier. It's a monthly subscription thing or annual subscription. Now, some of you do not know, and I've had a couple people contact me telling me this, that you time out in Patreon. There has been people that were Patreon members. They were donating monthly, and then all of a sudden it stopped. They thought I stopped accepting their payment when in actuality they came up to a anniversary. They were sent a renewal request notice. They didn't read it or whatever, and it just quit taking their money. That's okay. So if you think you're a Patreon member, you might want to check and make sure that you're still having that donation. I just had three people. Renewals came up. They didn't renew. The system shut it down. And that's okay if you no longer want to support me on a monthly or annual basis. However, if you do, check and see if you're still a member of that Patreon site. Now, I have uploaded some videos in the past that were only for Patreon people. Those videos are still in there. Those were special videos about Queen B. If you want to know what was going on with Queen B, go in there and check it out. A lot of you don't know this, but I no longer own Queen B. Queen B is in the hands of another Volvo enthusiast that is cherishing that thing like never before. Showing it more love than I was able to show it. My attention has turned to Lemonade. And that was the transition I made from Queen B to Lemonade. And the gentleman that has Queen B, we were in somewhat of a negotiating stage for several months before he got Queen B. So it's not something that I decided to do and did in two days. It was something that I was working on for, man, probably almost, it's almost a year, I think, before he finally picked it up, and took it to greener pastures. Along the lines of that Patreon stuff, I'm toying with the idea of maybe creating a Robert DIY club. Uh, the, on the Patreon site right now, I use those funds to help people in need so that I don't have to make special requests like I have a couple times in the past. Somebody's got a car broke somewhere. They can't afford to fix it. They reach out to me for information. One thing lead to another. I realize this is someone that's really in need, really need a hand up. And in the past, I have reached out to you guys, my faithful viewers, and said, hey, can you guys send a few bucks to help this person out? Well, now I'm trying to use the funds that I get from that Patreon site to do stuff like that. And not have to make a special pitch to you guys. To me, it's important for those of you that want to help me help others in that way to be that monthly supporters. I mentioned this a couple days ago. I think, I'm not sure. But occasionally, Google, who owns YouTube, will make some kind of adjustment to how they pay their creators and whack. Man, they hit us hard. A couple months ago, I got probably a 30% hit on my income. The monthly income that I get from YouTube is not enough to live on. Not, not really. And surely not enough to start saving anything on. So, the funds that I get from Patreon help offset that 
with the YouTube and the Patreon, that's enough for me to survive. Then, of course, I do my little travel tours, help people work. That gives me extra money to do other things that I need, like help other people in need, try to save a little bit of money for emergencies, stuff like that. So if you want to help me and offset these cuts that Google makes on YouTube from time to time to their creators, Patreon is a great way for you to help me survive in this world of creativity per se. Now I've had a few people that always get great information of ways to make this thing a little bit more fun, a little bit more interactive. Man, I am one of the few creators that have a phone number that you can get to quick and easy. Send me a text, message, call me. I hope you get through uh, challenging things. Some of these challenges are small, some are big. I'm here to help. That's why I do this. So that's that. I don't know if I'm in the position to, to do a whole lot more or add special content to Patreon, stuff like that. I appreciate you guys' support. Now, right now, uh, most of you know I am in the San Diego area from here. Next day or two, probably tomorrow afternoon, I'll be headed to Phoenix. The day after that uh, or two, I'm going to be headed towards Tucson. Then I'm going back to Vegas for a couple days. Then I need to get Lemonade back home to finish the restoration of that, put that car in a paint shop, and take care of people that are out on that part of the country. That's been waiting for me for a year. So, there's that. A couple of you guys have asked me, because you can't afford to pay for the services, to, to finance the services, I have a couple people there. Now... I need a little bit of help, possibly, if you guys in California, maybe the Bay Area, I'm not really sure where this vehicle is, but I made a couple of clips of the red 850 that I picked up, and a guy told me he wanted to purchase the car, and he gave me a decent amount of money as a down payment, partial payment on the car, Told me he was a great guy, expressed his integrity to me in a fantastic way. I'm not the best judge of character in discerning that thing. Long story short, guy hadn't paid for the car. So if you see that red, beautiful red 850, probably in the California area, driving around, may or may not have plates. I have a title, but I don't know. He may have put some kind of fake mechanics lien on it and got some kind of title from it. I don't know. But if you see that car moving around, let me know where it is. I need to probably take some kind of legal action with the guy. He's just ignoring me. He's not paying and he's ignoring me. He's not responding to my text messages. So there it is. I got a, it's, I think it's a 97 red 850R out there. Beautiful car. Drove beautiful. And guy stiff me. He's not paying for it. You know, my bad. I trusted him. Well, I probably shouldn't do that. However, I trust everybody that I meet with with the understanding that when I show up and I do work, that they're going to pay me. I almost never get paid in advance. So, I trust people, and most of the people that I deal with appreciate my integrity and efforts to do the right thing, and they reciprocate that by covering costs and things that uh, are needed to be covered when I travel. So there's that. A couple of things I'm going to be doing uh, here in the near future is one, maybe a couple of small series. Uh, YouTube will probably have the full video. But I'll upload a couple of shorts with YouTube. I also have a Robert DIY One TikTok channel, a Robert DIY One IG that I've uh, not had the energy to interact with. I'm going to start interacting more with those two things. Just want to let you know. If I'm 
I'm considering starting maybe a Robert DIY club. It'll start with the people on Patreon. Probably going to have my daughter design some little stickers that you can stick on your car window if you want. Uh, maybe a little card. Uh, definitely, when you interact with me, let me know that you're in that membership thing or club thing or in Patreon so that I don't um, take your interaction with me lightly. I get contacted every day. People requesting parts they never pay for. People saying that they want things that are too big to ship. Uh, people asking for help. I Unfortunately, I don't know if these people are Patreon people or not. But this is how I look at people that are in my little circle or, or helping me through Patreon or have helped me through Patreon. I believe that you care about me and what I'm doing to help others, especially in the Volvo community. So, if you contact me about something, please do let me know that you're a Patreon supporter or have sent me donations through somewhere or something like that. That way, I know that you're not just somebody that's throwing a line out there seeing if I help. I will know that you're truly somebody that understands what I'm doing, appreciates what I'm doing, and care about what I'm doing. That way, I know that I'm dealing with somebody that is legitimately involved in what I do. For instance, if you contact me and say, hey, Robert, I need a centerpiece hubcap for my wheel. I can't find one nowhere. They're not selling them nowhere. Can you send me one? Well, if you're some guy that ran across my video and watched once or twice a year, I probably don't even have your address. I can ask for your address. I'll go find the part, ship it to you, and probably get stiff for seven bucks or eight bucks. Not a big deal, but if you let me know that you're a Patreon person, supporter or something, I know that you're somebody that's connected with me. I know that you care about what I do. Man, I will make special extra effort to help you get that part or whatever help you need. So please do let me know if I don't know you personally. Like a lot of you guys I've met, but some I haven't. And man, like my buddy in Albuquerque, Santos, I sent him a wheel that he needed. You know, he told me he needed a wheel. I know he's a, a faithful Patreon supporter. When I went in the junkyard, seen that wheel, man, I snatched that wheel off, got the rubber pulled off of it, boxed it up, and sent it to him. And I know he would take care of the cost of that, you know, because he's a supporter, because he cares about what I'm doing, because he understands what it takes to be this committed to the community that I am. So do let me know that you're a member, you're a part of what I do, and I will make special effort to help you out when you need help. Another thing, you can order t-shirts, coffee mugs, hats, stuff like that off of my robertdiy.com site. Now when I'm traveling, sometimes it's a little difficult for me to get parts and ship them to you. I'm trying to get a door latch for my buddy Ando in Little Rock. I haven't been to a junkyard in a week and a half. Until I get to that junkyard, I can't get that part. If they have an 850, to ship to them. Sometimes you may order something and I can't get it right away. However, if I'm going in and out of the junkyard, I got access to a printer and stuff. I will get parts, ship them to you sometime pretty quick. But when I'm traveling... You may have to be a little patient. If you need something urgent, you need this part tomorrow. Let me know. Hey, man, this is urgent. Can you do it urgent? I'll let you know whether or not I could do it in a day or two or not. If it's something that you need within a couple of days, I and I don't know it's urgent, it may take me three or four days, maybe a week to ship it to you. That's a week that you're hostage. I don't want you to be hostage. I know how that feels. Now, last but not least on this video, you can order custom stuff from my website. You can contact me through text, email, call me. I will set you up with 
my production specialist, which is my daughter, and we will design anything you want, Robert DIY. Put a little Robert DIY tag on it. An example is there's a viewer in Texas, South Texas, some town down by, like, down by the border. It's like the furthest you can get down in Texas almost. It's like nine miles from the border. Like, I think the place is called Par, Texas. There's a lady there that wears a shirt that says, my friend Robert has a motor. And it's got two 850s on there. It was some kind of language barrier misunderstanding we had. And it, it turned into something funny. We laughed about it. Designed this t-shirt and they have this t-shirt. My friend Robert has a motor and it's got two 850s on there and it's got Robert DIY on there. And we can do custom stuff like that for you. Or if you got something that you want done, my daughter's graphic designer, since she was four years old, she started playing with computer graphic art stuff on a laptop and that's what she enjoys doing. She could design stuff for you. For your business illustrations stuff like that help you out with that if you if you need to help we we have a full color t-shirt printer uh she does t-shirts for people's family reunions and stuff like that vinyl for your business window front stuff like that vinyl for your car you know we actually have some vinyl cut to protect headlights of the pad cars and we have the vinyl cut for those vinyl areas of the car that are shadowed areas some of that stuff's already designed and cut contact us we get that stuff to you so i'm gonna try to organize the robert diy team a little better uh, i want you to know that if you are already a supporter in any kind of way let me know that when you contact me so that I know you're a person seriously following through on what you need and you can get things through my website, you know, t-shirts, cups, hats, stuff like that. And we're working on designing a little Robert DIY sticker and hopefully we just continue to have fun, continue to be able to help people again from the San Diego area, heading to Phoenix, heading to Tucson area, headed back to Vegas, got to get back to Cincinnati. And after I get a few things caught up in the east part of the country, I'm going to be coming back out west. I'm actually leaving Panther in Las Vegas, so I'll have a car on this side of the country. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video clips. Have a great day. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. We are here with this 98R. Worked on this a couple of years ago. We are going to check the evaporator. See if it's got evidence of leaking. Because it keeps having to service it. And it keeps losing its fluid. Looks like somebody put a 960 roof trim in here. Did we put this black? So we pulled the glove box out. And somehow this dash has a break in it right there. Never seen that before. Let me get a light break right there, which makes this corner weak. That needs to be epoxy. Mm. And it's got the kind of repair. There's a break right there in it. And it's got the repair where there's a screw under there holding the panel up. So let me grab a Phillips and get that out of there so I could get to this fan resistor and check the evaporator for leaks. It looks like this evaporator may be leaking. So I'm gonna get a black light and take another look at it. Just to make sure before you do all this work to snatch this thing out of here. And you can see it's got some evidence of being plugged up. And we'll get that thing replaced if necessary. Next we got an IPD rip kit. Here's the instructions and notes on installing that. All the parts appear to be here. We're going to go ahead and get this installed. As you can see, it has all the stock stuff. A lot of slack in this accelerator cable for some reason. We're going to try to adjust that and get
get this rip kit installed. Just pulled this lower hose out of here, and man, this hose going to this transmission looks very wet. It got some cracks in it. I think that thing needs to be replaced. Going to the lower rad, the upper one doesn't look much better. I don't know why these lines are wet, but I'd probably think about replacing those two transmission lines. Dipstick's out a little bit. I don't think that's a problem. But yeah, that's pretty wet there. Needs a couple transmission hose lines. Got that IPD rip kit installed. Everything went in well. This hose from this idle air control valve down to that pipe is trying to buckle, but I got it straightened out pretty good. And maybe it'll fit a little better when it warms up, but everything else went in well. Next up, we have some lowering springs for this car from Snap. For the all-wheel drive vehicles, we're going to look over the instructions, pull this wheel, see what it's going to take to get these lowering springs installed. Look at those BBS wheels. Floors out. And we did get the bolts out of the top of the shocks. Now we're going to go under the car and do what we need to do under there to get these lowering springs on. Everybody loves this drip molding on this roof trim here. And... I found a couple pieces that weren't peeling, so we got those installed. Just need some dressing on them. And it's going to be nice. No cracks. No busted up vinyl on them. It's good to go. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.